Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Question. How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. How, are you? How are you? Yes. I have a question. I know. I got a question. Yeah. You, you, she don't see you. You got to step back. She don't see you. Okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, I have a question. I I heard. What's your question? Okay. Um. When when you go send a note out go, for camping? Go go here. All right. The deal with camping, you guys. Uh, Corey has to. I'm not doing anything until Corey approves the list and the staffing for it. She's gonna approve that uh, or disprove it. Tomorrow, she's been on paid leave. I think she gets back today. So I'm not going to uh, do anything until Corey takes a look at my list and approves the budget for it. So I hope to have a note sent home uh, by Friday. We got two and a half weeks here. So, but I hope that Corey approves everything. This is terrible. I hope Corey approves everything. And then I'll have, um, I see you. Um, I, uh, and I'll have a note sent home with like a packing list and information on Friday. All right. Hey, I can't hear you. And that's a bummer. Wait, 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 maybe it's me. Hold on. Nope. I heard her. So, uh, you're not muted, but I can't hear you. Can you type a mat? Can you type a, a chat? Hi, Colfax. Hi, Lincoln One. Viz Arts in the house. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, go ahead and yeah, shoot me a chat and I will answer your question when I see it. So welcome, everybody. Um, it's so lovely to see everybody. I know there's probably a lot of people out and about in the community, but um, those of us here, thank you for joining me. Um, What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, great job with all of the messages and phone calls made to Springfield about um, about the four dollar an hour thing. Um, the nineteenth is very soon. Let's see, what's today? <gasps> Seventeen. So Friday. Friday is the nineteenth, and that is when they are gonna seal the deal on the budget. Okay, now listen to me. They said, and I quote, and I didn't want to share my screen here. So they got about 1,500 phone calls about that bill to raise the DSP wage by four bucks. They got about 1,500 phone calls. And I know a lot, that there were some from search. There were like 10 or 15 from search. And they deserve, I did, I did, I did get it. You did it on online. I saw that. Thank you so much. I got it right here, Colette. Um, I'm gonna get to that. Uh, Yep, right here. Bing bong. Thank you so much. We're gonna go over some of those. All right. So, so uh, they got like fifteen hundred phone calls, and and that organization called They Deserve More. Um, they know that there were fifteen hundred calls made because leadership told them that the the advocacy that people did for this this wage increase was so solid that people are talking about it. So I got another email this morning. And it says, okay, this is the email. 
Okay, the spring legislative session ends this Friday, May 19th, meaning the budget is done. You're having an impact, but we need to keep the pressure up. Last week, you made more than 1,500 phone calls to targeted state senators. And the week before, hundreds of calls went into the House of Representatives. We know it was heard because we heard about it from our elective leader. So they're like, dang, a lot of calls on this DSP bill, you guys. There's a lot of voters out there who want this. In this final e week, we ask that you send one more email to reinforce the Illinois House and stay prepared for a, a possible final push for the end of the week. We are in stiff competition with a dozen requests for rate increases from other human services. There's one little bowl of cereal in the middle of the room and everyone's fighting for a bigger piece of that bowl. Due to the reported budget hole, there is also going to be stress on the final budget appropriations. So our voices need to be loud and our needs need to be clear. Continue seeking a $4 per hour DSP wage increase. It is very much needed and well justified with that rate study that they did. So after this, I'm gonna send you this email and it, it's just one of those click, click, please follow through with this and send another email to Springfield asking for more money, okay? We're, we're almost there. We like, it's, it's really up to us to like be loud about it, so. All right, so I just wanted to uh, just start with that because that's super important. $4 an hour is like $9,000 a year. I'm really bummed about my neck on this Zoom. Let's see if I can make it prettier. Hold on. Let's see if I can make it look more fake. Oh, that's good, right? That's better. Okay, there's the after. <laughs> Ready? Wait, before, wait. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> wait. Before, and after. Ah, yes, 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 yes. All right, so I did get um, a few um, uh, site reports. Thank you, Colette. Thank you, everybody who, um, who sent them in. And I have our things right here, and I just wanted to kind of go over some some things on here because there's some great stuff on here. Um, for example, uh, we asked, is there one or two big outings you'd like to do with your uh, DT, DT site this summer? Something your environment hasn't done before. Be specific. Uh, let's see. Killer Sal said, go to a zoo. We haven't gone to a zoo in a while, right? And mini golf. Uh, the show, meaning like the, the, the plays, by the way, another one's coming up. We're going to try and get some folk out to see Aladdin next week. I think like I'm busy. I don't know. Um, more zoo picnic and games in the park, a boat ride, petting zoo, the nature preserves. Uh, let's see. Great. Okay. Here, what were some of your favorite things you did in April? This is Lily. I'm I'm gonna do this first. Okay, I'm not taking questions right now. Okay, what were some of your favorite things you did in April? Um, so uh Lauren said they had a nice Easter dinner at the house, super nice. Uh feed my starving children in Bernie's books. So uh, I guess a lot of people like doing the um the volunteer work up here. Uh, let's see, walking outside, going on outings, cooking class up here at Kensington, cooking class, golfing. Did you guys go golfing in uh, in uh, uh, Viz Arts? Did you guys go golfing? No. Oh, that was maybe a, a wish? Yeah. Thanks. You want to go golfing? Because there's a little golf. We could do that little golf thing right around the corner. That little golf place on uh, Northwest Highway. Who wants to go golfing? Me. You want to go golfing? I'm making a note right now, okay? Yeah. Okay. That'd be oh. cool. 
Oh, and okay. I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight that. Okay. All right, Tina Turner. For some people went to Tina Turner. Oh, at uh at Lincoln, the karaoke contest seems to have been a really huge hit, right? Karaoke contest. And did you guys did you guys go to the museum down there? Did Lincoln, did you guys did you guys go to a, a museum at some point? I see you, Princess. Did you guys go to a museum? We went to the Botanic Garden. Oh my God! You went to the you went to the Botanic Gardens and the karaoke contest seems to have been a huge hit. Yes, it was. They had a good time. Awesome, awesome. And the Botanic Garden, you went to the Botanical Gardens all the way from Lincoln, yeah? Yes. That's awesome. Uh, all right. Um. Manasseh Recognition Night. We had a Manasseh Recognition Night where some people went uh, for like snacks and like a, a, an awards thing and just like a yay Manasseh kind of thing. Uh, Central Park, we got to go outside and enjoy the warm weather. Guest at the courthouse. Robert, what's that? Did you guys go to the courthouse? Oh, wow. It just says guest at the courthouse. Did somebody get? <laughs> we read that. Say no. You didn't go to the courthouse. No, no, we didn't. Maybe somebody. It was a creative way of saying they got like arrested. <laughs> All right. All right. Um. Oh my gosh, Ignited Dumpster, the, the Dumpster, they went to Dave and Buster's, wow. They went to that hip mall. Oh my gosh, is the hip mall still around? Still open and running? That'd be a great outing, you guys, the hip mall. Okay. Horse riding. Echo, did you guys go horse riding? Wait a minute. When did you guys go horseback riding? Are you, wait a minute, hold on. I'm hearing echoes telling me, oh, they want to. Okay, I'm writing it down. Horseback riding. Let's see if that's uh, still open. Okay, all right. Oh, and then she's probably joking, but now I'm gonna make her go. <laughs> all right. Um. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, now here are some of the random acts, uh, shout outs for people in your environments. I said, do you have any, uh, any, have you seen any random acts of kindness around you? Any proud moments you've witnessed anyone crack you up lately? Tell me about it. So here we go. So, At Kensington, James Underwood would like to give out a shout out for the whole class. Sean Edel opens the door for staff or clients who have their hands full. Thank you very much. Christo says that Z Sean's jokes crack him up. That's a good one. Z Sean does these little call and response jokes in the uh, art room at Kensington, and it's really uh, kind of awesome to hear. And he invites everybody into the jokes. It's great. Uh, okay. <laughs> Robert says that Jennifer Gladhill craps, cracks the whole class up when she reads about Hogwarts and then the computer screen, free, screen freezes. <laughs> take a picture. It didn't happen. If it didn't, if you don't take a picture, it didn't happen. And that's really funny. Like, I want to see what, like how my face freezes during at Hogwarts. It's probably beautiful. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I love it when I get to work in the morning and Thomas can't wait to say good morning, Coco. And he just bursts out laughing real hard and I laugh alone with him and that really cracks him up. 
I love that. Those moments, those moments that are like superhuman and real and good. Good morning, Coco. That's awesome, Coco. Uh, all right. Laurel says, all the time we are laughing and having fun with four N's. Uh, Concord, John and Carol would like to thank staff for always helping and cooking for them. That's very nice. Gratitude will get you everywhere, John and Carol. Um, let's see. Laramie, Tina Turner show was the best. The movies we saw, we, we, uh, the movies we saw last month were very good. Oh, in Central Park, Tim is funny and Vincent is always cracking jokes. LOL. A couple of people said the art room staff, Wanda and Robert. Ah, oh, a little shout out to the staff for being awesome. From Colfax, Bobby was nice with Georgette. Bobby, that's so sweet to hear. Bobby's always nice, but that's really sweet. Where are you? Good job, Bobby. Good job, honey. Kindness will get you everywhere. Did you, what did you do? Did What did she do with Georgette? Like, what, what'd y'all do together? When was, yeah, what'd she do to what? How was she nice? Why are you looking so fancy today? Oh, me. You look like you're, you look like you're going to brunch. <laughs> you, look, you look like you're, you look like you're meeting your, you look like you're meeting your nephew at brunch. You have some mimosas. Well, good job. <laughs> well, Bobby, thank you for being kind to your peers. Yeah. Go light on the, go light on the mimosas there, Georgette. Okay. Okay. Ignited Dempster. Uh, Becky loves Pam's funny voices. Gina helped Becky make prints. Pam likes when Angie helps her make good choices. Great one. And Abby enjoys Angie's sense of humor. And Christina liked making art with Tina and Gina. Tina and Gina. I can't believe that's just like a puzzle piece. Tina and Gina. These are so great. So if you haven't filled one out, please do. I know, I guess the, um, we have to find a way for uh, all of the, the sites to, I guess the, the, the Chromebooks aren't coming to search anymore. So we have to do them like maybe before, or after, at the end of the day, when you go back, because they really do need these filled out from all of the sites. But thank you so much for everybody who filled them out. I really love them. Okay, which is better, sailboats or speedboats? I mean, I'm gonna count it up, hold on. Speedboats got... All right. Wait a minute, mm -hmm. three, four, five. Okay, speedboats or sailboats? Speedboats got eight. And sailboats got four. Bum, 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 bum. So speedboats won on that one. Okay, you guys asked about, I asked which financial topics would you like to learn about? Um, how to get more money in our links. The link cards can't be changed. The link cards are for food and that is set by the government and that can't be changed. In fact, the link card balances are going down now because the pandemic has been declared over. Did you guys know that? Like the pandemic has been officially declared no longer a national emergency this week. So some of the protections and some of the benefits that the government put into place to help us during that crazy time. Can you guys even, isn't it strange to think that we went through that? I think that's I remember driving through Skokie and there was nobody on the roads and I was lysoling my pants when I went in the door. It's just so strange to think about it, but we made it. But the 
because the government had bumped up your link um, card amounts to help people get through the pandemic financially. But now that it's over, they kind of took those back. Your link cards are always the same and you can't increase the money in your link cards, okay? There's a lot of questions in here about budgeting, which I think we need to start doing. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of questions on here, a lot of wants, a lot of we want to do this and do this and buy that and buy this, but we never really talk about what it takes to make that happen. We always say, you know, when can I go here or buy this, but that's the right, but we need to start looking at the responsibility. And, and there's a lot of questions on here about how to do that. How do we become more responsible with our money? And I do think you guys need to be aware more of your trust fund account. So probably next week, we're going to take a look at the trust fund account uh, statement that you guys um, have for those of you who live at Search. And we're going to take a look at what's on the trust fund account, how much you have individually. I mean, that's private between you and your your uh, account. But next week, we're going to start taking a look at what a trust fund account looks like to search, what the statement looks like. And I'm going to start to um, maybe uh, try to get your balances to you a little more often, because sometimes it feels like there's just this endless source of money and we can go and do anything, but that's just not true. And we have to start kind of... Um, being more aware and conscious and responsible for our money habits. So there's a lot of questions on here about budgeting and trust fund accounts and spending in the dash cards. And so we are gonna start looking at uh, some ways that you guys can be more in control of your trust fund balances and budgeting and not just spending a bunch of money on nothing. We got to start uh, being more responsible with our with our trust funds. So, um, the dash card. I know that there's still a little bit of trouble with the dash card uh, balances, but uh, nothing works quickly at search. But uh, but I think this keeps Kenny up at night. And what he's um, trying to do is he's um, trying to instill um, a policy where it automatically. Um, automatically fills up at the beginning of the month, and then the receipts come in and it. So the dash card system is closer to being improved. Um, he, it just has to go through Corey and it has to become an official policy. So um, a lot of questions about money on here and we are gonna start looking at it. Um, counting money, stock market. Somebody asked for some information about the stock market. This was an interesting question. How to count money, especially for a blind person? That was a very interesting request. Dash cards, dash cards, dash cards. So once um once Kenny gets his uh does his new dash card policy implemented, I'll probably ask him to come back and, and talk about that with us. Oh. Somebody asked on one of these, uh, when can we raise the prices for our artwork? And I asked Tina to respond to that. Like, when can we charge more money for the art pieces when we sell them? So Tina has a, uh, she has a statement, which I will now read. Because I said, I said, uh, so on a self-advocate set February site report, the following question was asked, why don't they raise the prices on the artwork? And Tina says, I could answer this question. It is a difficult one to answer and prices can vary on the venue of the shows. We certainly like our artwork to sell and price in order for artwork to do to move or be sold. With that said, we actually have increased artwork to sell higher, especially when we can ask for it at venues, we can up our prices. So it depends on like wherever we're selling it kind of affects the price. If we're selling it or showing it in kind of a higher end fancy place, you can charge a little bit more, right? In turn, when we increase our prices, then work tends not to sell. It becomes a balancing act of pricing to sell and pricing higher. So you might charge more for your work, but then sometimes that means it doesn't even sell. 
So would you rather sell it for 35 or have it sit on the wall and never sell it for 50? So one of the reasons that the prices aren't going higher is because there is a maximum that people are willing to pay for it. And in order to sell it, we have to keep it at a certain rate. I welcome you all uh, to coming to our monthly visibility arts committee so we can talk about this further. I would love to hear your input. That's interesting right there. She said that you guys are, would be invited to the monthly visibility arts committee. So if you are selling your art and you are uh, interested in this, uh, you should reach out to Tina or Gina and ask about attending the visibility arts committee. And maybe you can ask some questions there or find out more about um, the, the inner workings of, of, of selling art in the Chicagoland area, okay? Great. All right, guys. Um, all right, you know what? Uh, on a final note, because it's gonna keep this kind of short today, you know, there's a lot of people asking about the trips and stuff, and I'm going to just, right now, as you all know, we're working on Camp Dewan, which is June 2nd through uh, 4th. Um, there's a picnic on Friday the 2nd, and then some people will be camping through the 4th. I, just a personal request, I would, I understand that everybody wants to go on trips. I know that. I know how fun they are, and I know how much you're looking forward to it, and I know how long it's been since you've been on one. But I just want you all to know that um, your trips are very important to me, but I could use, I kind of would like for, just trust that I'm working on them. I would kind of, uh, I'm kind of asking people to kind of uh, pull back on, on asking when the next trip is like um, all the time, every time. Um, I don't have an answer for you right now. When I have an answer for you, I will give it to you. I'm very, 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 very busy on Camp Dewan. So I'm just, uh, you know, from Dr. Fun to everybody, I'm just kind of um, asking that, uh, I know that you want the trips. I know everybody, you know, hasn't gone on one in a while. And I'm just kind of asking you to trust me and have faith and maybe um, pull back on asking uh, all the time, when when's my next trip? Because uh, I don't know. And if I did know, then you would know. So, all right, um, Colette, did I see your, did you have another, did, does anybody have a question for me based on this stuff? Laura Harrison, are you raising your hand, hon? Yep, hey, Princess, can I unmute so I can ask, I can, uh, I, can, uh, I can get Laura's question answered? Princess, Princess. Laura, I see you. Here, let me see. You, I can put something up on the screen, Julie. There we go. Okay. What's your question, Laura? Well, why they come alive? That's not a question. Well, let me ask you. When, 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 when is it? When's your birthday? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Your birthday is tomorrow? tomorrow? You know what we haven't done in a long time? We haven't done a, a dysfunctional hey, birthday song on, on Zoom. I think we need to sing uh, Laura Harrison happy birthday. All right, hey, hey, hey. Let me get Cole back in oh. here. Okay, hold on, let's see. We got uh go back. No. Okay, here we go. All right. We're gonna sing happy birthday to Laura Harrison. Here we go. One, one, two, three.
right. Um, because I didn't see any of the guys' names on it. Are, are we? Which are we? Are we talking about bringing? Good. I still can't hear you. Uh, the chat me real quick. Okay. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on here. Coco, just uh, um, email email my like the email the you know from there, and just tell me what's on your mind and who you're thinking of bringing, and it's fine, okay? All right, you guys, if you haven't filled out uh, a uh, a site report, please do. Um, thank you so much for being here. Great job, everybody, and uh, enjoy the spring weather. All right, talk to you guys later. Good questions. Bye.